every time I'm waiting for car parts. I'm sure we can all relate to this. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. So a good friend of mine just got here and we are going to be working on his 2010 Subaru WRX STI. We are going to be replacing the struts and the springs. He's already running lower end springs but the struts are blown and he found another set online which are these right here and we're gonna replace those today so we're hoping that the car is going to drive better it definitely feels really shitty right now so and uh, we're also going to try and put some wheel spacers see if we can make that car look wider so stick around and we'll see how this turns out we just got done with the first wheel added the spacer on it and you guys can tell a big difference it sticks out way more and honestly we think it looks way better so we're going to keep those on that's still the one without the spacer and that's the one with it so it makes really big difference we're gonna keep them on and see how it looks once we get done with all four wheels we're done with the front end on the car but we ran into a little problem with the spacers on there is not a lot of gap for the wheel to turn so it's rubbing pretty bad so we're not gonna be able to use the spacers no more you're gonna have to jack it back up and get the spacers out of there in order for this car to be drivable. It looks pretty pretty good. I don't know what you guys think, but unfortunately we can't use them. So we're gonna get those out of there and then move to the back, replace the two rear struts, and then we should be getting done soon and we can take it for a good drive. Alright guys, quick update. So we were working on the back wheels and this shit happened. It's the lock for the lug nuts. It cracked so we were not able to finish uh, the passenger rear. So we're gonna go out and see if we can find this lock. So we'll see if we get any luck finding that one. If the car is drivable, we were able to put the lug nuts on the back. It broke when putting the wheel back. So. It should be drivable now. We're gonna go out and see if we can find this key somewhere. They're all different, so I don't know how hard it's gonna be to find it, and hopefully we can finish the other side. So we kinda got lucky. We went to a tire shop and they had the same lock for the lug nuts or key, so we are back in business. We're heading back home, that, so that way we can finish the last strut that we had left on the car and then that will be it for the day so far with the three that we replaced the car's driving really good it's more smoother than it was before um, it doesn't look different and when it comes down to the ride height since uh, it had lowering springs before but the struts are not blown now so it drives way better so we're gonna head home now we're gonna finish this and then i think that's gonna be it and we are all done as you guys can see it looks just like it did before didn't drop more than what it used to be but it definitely drives better way better so hopefully they last a couple more thousand miles I think he paid a hundred dollars for the set of four with the struts so it was not a bad deal at all I think that's gonna be it for today's video guys I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.